Uh, already we've seen NATO countries recognize the severity of this problem, that it is going to be a long-run problem. Uh, you know, immediately they've uh, dedicated uh, resources to help us with humanitarian airdrops, uh, to provide arms to uh, the Peshmerga and to the Iraqi security forces, and we welcome those efforts. What we hope to do at the NATO summit is to make sure that we are more systematic about how we do it, uh, that we're more focused about how we do it. Um, NATO is unique in the annals of history as a successful alliance, um, but we have to recognize that threats evolve. And Threats have evolved uh, as a consequence of what we've seen in Ukraine, but uh, threats are also evolving in the Middle East that have a direct effect on Europe. Um, and to go back to what I said earlier uh, to Anne, um, you know, we know that if we are joined by the international community, we can continue to shrink ISIL's uh, sphere of influence its effectiveness, its financing, its, uh, its military capabilities, uh, to the point where uh, it is a manageable problem.